if you are a university student you need to learn how to write a good articles how to play with the words how to use them in your sentences because the when you write your thesis when you write the academic writing or you write the research article it is written in the formal writing you can't you can't use the informal writings you cannot use the words which you use during a speak speaking are the words which you are using uh, during your mails sms or writing for the website it is a different different things there are too many words which may be used in the speaking or in the formal uh, informal writing but we are not going to use them in the formal writing or in the academic writing Uh, your research paper your thesis or your essays completely depend on your writing obviously depend on the, your experimentation your results your work but it extremely it uh, highly depend on your writing if your writing is better the reader will read it the reader will get impressed from that otherwise not he will not get reach to the Uh, your result to the experimentation section if you haven't used a good words if you haven't used any hook statement to catch your learner to catch your learner so if you are writing what should you avoid what shouldn't you use in your uh, academic writing there are different type of words uh, and i have divided it into different type of Uh, uh, groups for example you are writing shouldn't be too informal there are some word for example a bit a lot of or uh, isn't doesn't wouldn't or a kind of a spot of tell you and your these are the words that everyone every writer should avoid these for example a bit how we can use a bit in our research article this is experimentation we are discussing any qualitative we have to reference uh, we have to reference the citation of every figure every number which we are going to use we can't use the words a bit a big a bit a huge a little etc we have to use exact number so we we are not going to use the word a bit and a lot of this is also not a good word to use a lot of etc we should uh, used a number we should mention the exact number in the uh, in our articles and uh, contraction is not allowed you should know that contraction is not allowed in the formal writing uh, writing isn't you should write is not cannot does not would have etc so you cannot write the contractions in academic or uh, in the formal writing and the kind of sort of this is also not any words to be used in your academic writing or in the formal writing so you can use something else for example the things were significant etc but you are not going to use the kind of and the sort of till etc instead of writing uh, till that or still you should use from 2008 to 2012 you should use exact figures uh, this will be little ambiguous all these words are little bit ambiguous these are not going to play a full role they are not going to give a full meaning because they are not going to give a full meaning so we are not going to use such like words in our academic writing we are they are not going to give a full meal, uh, meaning you and your avoid also these uh, when i was writing my first paper or when i was using uh, to write my first essays for my uh, different type of social media i usually used you and your but this is not a good word if you use you and your in your writing this means that you're an initial writer so please avoid you and your you should search uh, any other words and uh, avoid the pronoun the personal pronoun etc
there are some uh, informal sentences start uh, we in the normal way we could start our sentences with also and so and and but in the formal writing in the academic writing we are not allowed we are supposed to not use the word also so and at the start we could replace it with the uh, moreover or further and in the place of so we could use therefore and uh, we could replace and we could write a new sentence uh, in spite of writing and at the start of the sentence so you sh you are not going to start your sentences with also so and and some words are unsophisticated these are not going to explain your uh, thesis these are not going to explain your uh, exact meaning of your essay or whatever you are writing for example if you are going the, these results are very bad no this is not good you could write the results are poor with the poor results exactly big uh, these words are also not good these are ambiguous words these are not going to give a clear uh, meaning so uh, you have to avoid these words you can use any other related word exactly instead of using the word get this model gets attention you should try to receive attention and uh, this uh, figure give the explanation or this ex example give an overview you should put offers are present the best thing is this chapter presents this chapter covers etc okay instead of using a good it is a useful this is a useful example and uh, we also usually use a show but it will be better that this figure uh, illustrate this figure explain and this figure demonstrate there are also some unclear words and uh, if we use these words in our writing in our formal writing this will not be uh, liked by the reader because these words are unclear they are not going to uh, give a clear meaning and in the formal writing we only select these wordings these sentences this parallel parallel structure which give a clear meaning for, ex for example if we are using a word stuff that anyone can take a meaning of the stuff according to his own thinking so instead of using the word stuff we should mention the stuff which we are going to discuss exactly the things the same uh, if we say the things every mind will think about the things which uh, the things belongs to him uh, and exactly a long time uh, or a while in the research we can't use we we are not allowed allowed to use unclear words for example if i am uh, using a word a long time what is a long time you should mention a long time it is a 30 minute it is a year it is a uh, century it is a month it is a week so you have to explain the time and instead of all these things the stuff the things and time if there are any other words which are not self-explained you should replace it you should explain it There are some other words, for example, if you, you are going to use always and never, we can use this in our informal writing. But how can we use the word always and, and the never? We are not going to show our own opinion in, the, uh, in our formal writing. If we are going our own opinion, we have to prove that. And exactly, we can't show that this model is a perfect thing this model is a best this model is worst suppose i'm going to use that this model which i have created is perfect for anything then i have to prove 
how this model is a perfect before using these words we can use an idea solution this is this is an ideal solution this is a better word instead of using that this is a perfect solution this is a best solution we this is a better one to say that this is an ideal solution this is one of the best solution for this problem and uh, usually to put stress on any word we use the very extremely really to and so uh somewhere we can use this thing in in informal writing but not in the formal writing you should replace these things there are some other words for example beautiful ugly wonderful uh good bad and horrible we are not going to give our own opinion there so these all words belong to our own opinion and uh, we should avoid all these wording and for example obviously of course we massively use these words in our speaking we also use these words in our own informal writing in our emails in our messages but these words are not liked in the research article exactly these are has good or have good yeah uh, the words good this is not liked serves to helps to uh, if if you write that this chapter serves to explain uh, what is the need to use the word serve here you 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 can write exactly this that this chapter explain or here you can write that this dissertation has four chapter what is the need of good so you have to uh, thing that what is exactly needed and what is not if if any word is not needed then why you are going to write uh, in your thesis or in your uh, writings exactly uh, for example the word literally it is massively used in our uh, informal writing or in our speaking in our oral communications but it is not liked in the informal uh, in the formal writing and is exactly would of had of etc all these words are massively used in the informal writing or in the speaking but these words are not liked in the formal writing so these were the some words uh, which i explained here to you that how can you avoid the words that have words which are which are useless which are not liked in the research community uh, research community uh, 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 write in the formal writing they they have their own style they have their own way of writing they have their own vocabulary you have to uh, you have to also notice that for what subject you are going to write it depends on your subject too for example if you are going to write for computer science then you have to select the words vocabulary relating to the com uh, computing uh, related to the computers you are not going to the use the words which are related to the biology and there are annotation every word has different meaning the same word which you are using in the uh, area of the computer says will have different meaning but the same words which you are using in any other will have some different meaning for example if i am using the word loop in the computer says loop means that it is a some function which is used in the programming to repeat certain statements and if you are going to use the same loop function in mechanical engineering that it it, it means that some uh, something which is rounded this will be called a loop so different words have different meaning in the different subject you have to keep in view you have to keep in the mention that for what subject for what area and uh, uh, who are your audience to according to your audience according to your subject according to your area you select words and you use these words and you have to uh, select hook statements for your writing uh, 
hook statement is a great curiosity in the readers the hook statements catch the reader towards uh, toward toward this essay or uh, toward uh, toward the people so if you are writing beautiful beautifully you are writing attracts the reader definitely you can success in your uh, academia thank you so much for watching and uh, i'm going to upload too much videos about the formal writing so keep watching thank you so much